when I decided to buy the new uh, generation 4 uh, 2020 Bosch uh, Performance Light CX uh, motor, one of the things that um, I was attracted to was the apparent lack of resistance uh, once the electric assistance stopped. So I'm going to try to demonstrate that now and to test it uh, with the chain on and without the chain on. So for those of you who are also curious about the noise the motor makes, I'll try to demonstrate. There you go, so that was acceleration. Now that I'm just spinning around, the drivetrain has a little bit of resistance, I can feel it. It's not pulling the wheel so much forward. It just has a resistance in the whole drivetrain, but that's not due to the motor itself. And as you can see, now each turn of the crank corresponds to one turn of the uh, forward uh, chain ring. Whereas before there was a multiplication by two and a half. It's the same system when you pedal backwards. The chain ring does not spin and the chain stays in the same place. Uh, now let's see... I'm going to uh, drop some gears so I can remove the chain. Okay, I'll try to do this with one hand. And now the brake. Okay. Push this forward and get the chain off with one hand. Oh, nice. Okay, and now I'm going to spin it. And is there any internal resistance? No, there is no significant internal resistance that I can feel. If I had my legs pushing on this, I would feel nothing, I'm sure of it. Okay, so the bit of resistance that I felt initially is probably from the drivetrain itself, the combination of all of this um, and none from the motor itself. Very interesting and very well done Bosch.